Hey, it's Michael Carbonaro. How are you? Welcome to the After Effect. And thank you for watching tonight's episode of The Carbonaro Effect. This is the show where I answer your fan questions off of my cellular cellophone. Yes, I said it. I don't mind. Um, thank you for writing those questions in. Uh, we've got a question right here from Kevin who says, Of all foods, why did you decide to do a trick with Brussels sprouts? Um, why did I decide to do that? Because they look like little mini cabbages. Seriously, Andy? I, I actually had a cabbage like a few rows over that I was gonna have somebody grab for me. Could you grab that cabbage and then do that trick? Well, that woman came up with a cabbage in her cart. Like, it was so weird. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a cabbage in her cart. I'm like, I'm doing the cabbage. In her cart. But someone showed me do the, the shake test, right? Is there a way to tell a, like a good healthy one? Hmm. You give it like a good slam like that and, and oh, yeah. Oh, these are- Wait, where's my cabbage? It was great, so that worked out really well. Um, but Brussels sprouts are healthy. That's why I chose them. I know, I like Brussels sprouts, right. but I want my cabbage. Sean says, are you trying to convince people of even crazier things this season? Putting a bowl of cereal and milk in a cereal box really stretches the limits of plausibility. Yeah, I'd have to do it in separate pieces. Sorry. Sean, is this your first time watching the Carbonaro Effect? Cereal out of a box? Oh, come on. We've, we've uh, you know, we've, this episode had magical gnomes and uh, cars have disappeared, boats have shrunk. Uh, cereal out of a box wasn't that much of a, I guess, for you. Thank you, Sean. She was cool. That was a good trick, too. Lots of stuff coming out, coming out, coming out. Um, but yeah, we stretch the limits of plausibility every day. That's our job. All right. Uh, Megan asks, that guy genuinely seemed to be scared of gnomes. These gnomes are freaking me out. Look at yeah. these gnomes on, like, this. Were these gnomes, are, were these gnomes here? Were these gnomes not, these gnomes weren't here. What are your thoughts on garden gnomes? First of all, I'm, they're, they're terrifying. Obviously, that's why I wrote the piece, because they were pretty scary. Um, but that guy in the piece, the best ever, he, look, you know, his mother told him, you hear him say it. Oh my God, my mom told me that you would come alive. Wait, what? This is some, this is some true shit my mom told me. What do you mean? Like, gnomes have, like, magic powers, dude. I'm not even his mother must have scared him with these gnomes when he was a kid, which I had no idea about. And this kid grew up, got over that, and then this day that I bring him here, I brought that all back, and he believes in it all again. He's like, he, he grows up and then goes back to being a kid in one afternoon. I really scared him. Are you okay? No, I'm shaking, man. That <laughs> looks so real. Peyton asks, have you developed a sixth sense for when someone is gonna be good for TV? Uh, no, actually, I wish I could say that I have, but people are very surprising. You know, some people might not seem like they're gonna react well, and, and then they do, so I'm just, I don't know. I'm just as surprised as you guys are, so that was a good question. Okay. Our next question, Jeff asks, after appearing in the Rush Hour TV show, do you have plans on acting in other shows? Yeah, totally. I mean, I love, you know me by now, right? Acting, comedy, goofy stuff. Uh, I want to do everything. So yeah, movies, TV, more magic, fun. Bring it on. Let's do it. Uh, and that, that'll bring us to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching tonight's episode and coming here for the After Effect. Write more questions at hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro, and I will see you next week. Goodbye. Supposed to disappear. Carbonaro effect.